Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video and today I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of personal advice about the red gacha coins and specifically for those of you that are struggling a little bit or unsure about what to spend them on because let me tell you, I was personally in that boat not too long ago, but after talking to some people in the community as well as other Dokkan YouTubers like Truth and Talon and my boy Scott and so on and so forth, I do believe I have the best or most optimal answer for how to get the best value out of your uh, red coins. But before we get started guys, just real quick, I want to be clear that you guys are free to spend your coins in any way you'd like. You should do uh, whatever makes this game the most enjoyable for you, obviously. So if you're one of those people that are missing STR Ultimate Gohan and you want to spend your coins on him and get your first copy or maybe even your last copy to rainbow him and that makes you happy, then go for it. I mean, I personally would not do that, but you know, you should, like I said, you should do what makes you happy, right? So uh, once that is super, super clear, let's move on to the advice now because um, this video is really for the people out there who want to get as much value out of their stone spent and the coins that they get from that as possible, right? So why don't we use this current tool to confess with the LR Gohan and the LR Cell as an example. And as you can see right now, with your red coins, you can pick up for yourself in the Baba Shop a transforming Vegeta or a uh, Vegito Blue or a transforming Goku in Android 17, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, Vegito Blue, STR Ultimate Gohan or a Int Ultimate Gohan from the Gohan side. And then for the Cell side, you can get a physical Broly, you can get transforming Frieza, uh, transforming Goku Black, transforming Boo, STR Rose, physical Goku Black, STR Cell, and Tech Cell. So there's actually a lot of really good options here, guys, and uh, I wouldn't blame anybody for wanting to pick up something like a Fizz Broly, which is something I personally did, or a Gogeta Blue, or maybe even like a Tech Vegito Blue if you don't have him, because the he was a monster. He's still absolutely insane, even though he's almost two years old at this point. But um, I would personally tell people to not do that, all right? Even if you are one of those people out there who still doesn't have your first copy of Vegito Blue or your first copy of Gogeta or Fizz Broly, I would still hold off, honestly, unless you're a huge whale. Um, who spends thousands of stones per banner, which in that case you probably don't need this video anyways. Um, this is more geared towards people who are, you know, smaller whales and you spend a little bit of money or just are free to play completely. Um, I would say stay away from all of these guys and the reason for that is mainly because you can get something way, way better with your coins besides these regular Dokkan Fest TURs, and that would be the Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs, of course, right? Namely, we have uh, LR uh, Gogeta, LR Vegito, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, uh, LR Gohan and Goten, um, LR... Oh, who am I missing? <laughs> Man, my mind's not working right now. Uh, oh, and of course, LR Gohan and LR Cell, no. So, we were just on that, and I guess my mind didn't go there since they're still active at the moment, but uh, in total, we have seven Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs at the moment, right? And we know that eventually, all of these LRs will be available through purchase, or for purchase, through the Baba Shop with the red coins. And the good thing about these guys is that they only cost 100 coins more than any of these Dokkan exclusive category leads. So these guys cost 400 coins, the LRs cost 500 coins, so um, if you guys want to buy like an LR Vegito when it becomes available again, or an LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, only 500 coins, only 100 coins more than a Ultimate Gohan, which I think is just great value in that sense, at least like comparatively, right? And um, that's one thing, right? Just the fact that they don't cost that much, and in a lot of cases, these Dokkan Fest LRs are absolutely insane. Even the first ones, the LR Gogeta and the LR Vegito, are still top, top tier units. And uh, I just think, you know, as far as value goes, it's worth it, right? But the second thing is just that um, the Dokkan Fest TURs are just a lot more readily available on banners. They come back a lot more often compared to the Dokkan Fest LRs, which are a lot less readily available, you know? So for example, we have the LR Gogeta and Vegito, right? And they were initially released, at least on Global. I mean, for both Global and JP during the three-year anniversary, but let's say 
Global, for example, it's been a full year, right, since they were initially released. And since then, they've only come back twice, once on the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta banners, and once for the Thank You Celebration, which is basically the same thing as the Tanabata Celebration on JP, right? So a full year, only two times they've come back, and they might return one more time um, before the year ends, but I also wouldn't be surprised if they don't come back again until next year. So like I said, very, very rarely do these Dokkan Fest LRs um, return on banners, at least based on our experience so far, right? And same thing with the LR Super Saiyan 4s. Um, as far as JP goes, they've only come back for the Tanabata celebration, and we will probably get them back as well on Global for the Thank You celebration in December. But then after that, uh, we won't see them again featured on a banner probably until the five-year anniversary, unless they change things up, of course, which could happen. But just based on our current information, based on the current trends we see so far, um, Dokkan Fest LRs only really return on banners once or twice a year, so you gotta wait like a full six months plus to get another chance uh, to pull them or buy them in the gacha shop, right, with the red coins. Whereas for something like a Gogeta Blue, which is also another very desirable uh, Dokkan Fest unit, it was initially released, I believe, at the beginning of this year on JP with the physical Broly, and since then he's come back twice now with the transforming trunks as well as the LR Gohan. They didn't even show his image on this banner here, but he is in the banner as you can see right there. And I would not be surprised at all if he makes at least one more return on another banner before the year is over. So if you include all of that, then Gogeta Blue would have been featured as a new unit that was released this year um, three or four times over the course of the year, so an average of something like three to four months in between, right? And uh, basically, if you go by comparison, three to four times a year versus once or twice a year, it's a big difference, right? So uh, from that perspective, as far as scarcity goes, um, the LR Dokkan Fest or the Dokkan Fest LRs are a lot more scarce than the Dokkan Fest TURs, right? So for those two main reasons, guys, uh, I would definitely recommend that you spend your coins or save your coins for these Dokkan Fest LRs you're missing as opposed to um, some TURs that you're missing because if you're missing a Gogeta Blue, he will be back once again, especially for global players. Um, when we get the dual Dokkan Fest between the Zamasu and Trunks, we should have another chance to pull Gogeta Blue or Fizz Broly if you're missing either one. And uh, of course, all the other guys will come back too, like Transforming Blue will be back. Um, Int Goku Black will be back and so on and so forth. Obviously, there are some exceptions like Tech Hit, which we haven't seen on Global for like nine months now. At this point, he was initially released last year, uh, December. And now it is September and we have not seen him on a single banner, so I don't know what he's what, what they're doing with him there. Um, there's also uh, AGL Metal Cooler, which hasn't made a return for a while now in Global, so there are some notable exceptions, but on average, most Dokkan Fest units do return, I'd say, every three to four months. And, uh, you know, you just have another chance to pull them off the banner as opposed to having to buy them with the coins. So, uh, yeah, save your coins, guys. Save your coins for the Dokkan Fest LRs. In general, they're very, very powerful, more powerful by quite a bit than your average Dokkan Fest TUR. And, um,. That's basically the best way to get the best value out of your coins. I know that may be a little bit obvious for some of you guys, but you gotta keep in mind that there's always new players joining the game and uh, not everybody has all the information or knows as much as you do, right? So if that seemed obvious to you, that's totally cool. And uh, hopefully this does help out a few people watching right now who were unsure or a little bit on the fence about whether or not to buy some of these units. I would say no, I would say hold off, but once again, it is your decision. All I can do is give you the best advice that I have available, and uh, you can make your decision based off that, right? Um, so yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I personally will be saving my coins from this point onward. I have 420 coins, so I only need 80 more to buy a Dokkan Fest LR, and you guys know, all those coins are going to the LR Gohan as soon as he becomes available in the shop, which I expect to happen maybe sometime in the middle of next year, in about like, I don't know, six to eight months, six, six to nine months, something like that. Um, I don't know for sure, obviously, but whenever he becomes available, those coins are all going towards him because I have spent like 24, 2500 stones so far. Three plus one, by the way, right? There's an extra multi after every three multis. So that's a lot of multi spent without the LR Gohan. I am done at this point. No more summoning for your boy. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I'm saving for. Let me know in the comments down below which unit you guys are saving for with your coins. And uh, whether or not I guess you agree with my assessment, uh, whether or not you agree with my advice, I know everybody has different opinions, so let me know in the comments down below about that too. And that's it guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.